As a council member, you have a responsibility to watch how taxpayers and ratepayers' money is spent. How would you safeguard public funds? Transparency. Um, I think the um, the uh, the funds are, in terms of when it comes to the public funds. I think it, the city should be run like a corporation. Um, you know, when a corporation misappropriates money, the CEO is gone, or there's usually repercussions. But it seems like in government you can misappropriation appropriate funds and you get promoted. So to me, it looks like when I look at government, I see the more of a failure you are, the more elevated you become. You know, you get that's almost like you get special treatment. In the private sector, it doesn't work that way. If you fail at something, um, you you suffer the consequences of your of your failure. And you usually when we fail at something, we have to look back and see what we failed at, so we can be so we can improve. But in government, that's not the case. You know, we advocate policies and and ideas, all worn, torn out ideas, that um, you know that has been proven not to work. And it's not really that complicated to put a budget together and. Uh, and execute that budget. I mean, the city, you know, working for the, being, uh, being in, in government, if you're looking at government, is you have your expenses, your in, your, your, you have your revenue and you have your expenses, and looking at, um, you know, how to streamline everything. That's my biggest thing, is looking at, you know, how we can streamline things, how we can be more, how we can become more efficient, and how we can, more efficient, and how we can turn this um, city into a great city. What experience do you have in financial management and how you use that experience on the council? I've worked up, I mean, I've served in the military, so I've worked, you know, logistics and dealt with a lot of money. Um, and, you know, in terms of where things go, within parts, stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I'd, say, I'd say, you know, um, my thing is, my desire is to hopefully work with the public, you know, and I want to know you know, what they, what's important to them, not what's important to me, but what's important to the public. I'm a servant of the public. So that's what I, that's, my, that's a, a, a former. So when, when, it, when it comes to money, I'm accountable to the, to the, to the, to the, commu to the community and, and, and ensuring, you know, that the, uh, the basic services and, 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 and things are being met and anything extra, you know, we can always debate and discuss that. But we have to look at the chart and see, you know, what, what's our purpose? What's the purpose of, 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 of council? You know, what, what, what's our job? You know, what's, our, what's our role? And how are we, we going to spend this money? I mean, I don't have a whole lot of ideas on how to spend money, but I mean, we look at, we look at everything, you get everybody's input, and you go line by line and, 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 and see, you know, where it need, you know, you prioritize from what's important to what's not important. And, and I think that's, that's what uh, needs to happen in, in, in terms of like, you, you know, in terms of expenditure and stuff like that. And it's much like running your own, own, own household. I know this is a, a tired thing, but I cannot spend more money than I have. I can't spend what I don't have. And it seems like uh, council spends what they don't spend, what they don't have. They project, but that's not a guarantee that the money that they project is going to be there at the end of the year. Things happen. What if there's a, a, a disaster, you know, and where do we go from, where do we go from there? So, you know, we have to be prudent and uh, we have to be diligent in our, in our management of, of, of funds and, 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 uh, and uh, especially since the money is not our money, it's the, it's the public's money. So it, even more, it calls for even more discretion and prudent. That's why I, I support the idea of, of audit. I'd like to seek, um, uh, 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 council being ordered every year, every department, but department by department. Now, some might say, but that costs a lot of money. Look at the money we waste. That you know, that's one of the measures that you can adopt in keeping people honest and letting being so transparent that the public can see, hey, this is uh, this is where our money is going, and there's no questions. There's no, sh you know, there's nothing is lurking in the shadows. You know, people are scratching the if the newspaper want to say uh, um, if journalists want to come and see you know how is the city spending their money they have free access to it it's right there for everybody in the open to see we know who's getting raises um, the other thing also about what I've seen with uh, increases with pay increases if 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 money is not being made if we are losing money nobody should get an increase that doesn't make any sense nobody should get a bonus. Assuming you have no additional money, what is your plan to attack Lane's violent crime concerns? 
What do you figure, um, say that again? Assuming you have no additional money, the city has no additional money, what is your plan to attack Colleen's violent crime concerns? That is, that is a big concern for me, uh, especially in the, in the area of crime, and especially with the limited uh, resources that we have, the money that we have. I think the money is there. It's just, you know, it's just being spent in places that, uh, I guess, if we do it, I would think if we do an audit, we'd see the, the waste and fraud and abuse. I think what the audit is, is, is trying to find out where the money is and trying to recover it. And uh, with, as far as the crime, and, uh, and, and, and the money for it, a tax increase is out of the question for me because people are overtaxed as it is. And that's the easiest way. I mean, when I look at what the meetings of council, that's the first thing that comes, into the, comes to their mind. We want to raise taxes, you know, property taxes, sales taxes. To me, that's, that's unnecessary. Um, we don't have to raise taxes. We just have to manage our, you know, we just have to manage our money. That's all, and that's what I, that's the, one of the purpose of the, of the audit is to get, get, give us an idea of how best to manage our money. And we don't have to go back 10 years. They, um, I don't see why we have to spend thousands of dollars going back 10 years um, of, of auditing if we're not going to recoup that money. I said, you know, turn over a new page, let's start fresh, and let's move forward and start doing auditing maybe from the last two years to see where we are, what is the health, what is the status of the, uh, uh, what is our financial, what does our financial health look, look like and where can we go, where can we cut, cut things, not to the detriment of the public, but um, looking at particular department, you use an example, human resource. You say, look at human resource for, as an example, you see the kind of money that they spend on consultants. Why would you, uh, why do you need 1.5 million dollars for consultants? What 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 are we doing? How is that benefiting the public? If we are going to consult, if they, if we're going to pay money out, as an example for consultancy, I want to know how that benefits the public. Is there are we getting anything out of it? It's not just money that's wasted there, but we are getting a return on our investment. It's all about getting a return on our on our investment, and also with. Uh, the question with the uh, with the police and and the violent crime is getting getting the public involved with police firefighters our, our emergency personnel making them making the police and the, and the community collaboratively work together uh, also if there's money over if we get a house in order is paying the police or our, our emergency personnel a, a, a competitive salary compared to the rest of the nation and making it more attractive for people to want to be policemen, want to be firemen, want to serve their community, because it's not just about drawing a paycheck, but it's about serving your community and being the best policeman, the best fireman that you can possibly be. What are your top three priorities and how you accomplish them? My, my, one of my top priorities is getting a handle on, getting a, 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 um, getting a, a, a handle on the, um, the spending, that, that's going to be priority number one. How we, how are we going to get? You know, how am I, how are we going to tackle this whole idea of of overspending and over taxation? That's that's pro, uh, priority number one. Priority number two is addressing the crime in in our area. Statistically, even though there's crime in 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 in, in Colleen, because Colleen is not as big as other cities, we about probably about a hundred and fifty thousand. And yes, there's this crime, but I want to know why. Is, is looking at why why this crime and what can we do to help? What can the public do to you know to minimize crime? I know in, in the area that I live in, we had about we had a shooting, we had a stabbing, and it's you know it's an, it's in areas that you know it's in, in, in areas that people are concerned about because it affects their, their, their property the property rate. I know police are, are, are overworked and we don't have as many. Uh, a police on the on you know out there because they you know they have to attend so these are things that I really want to look at and address before we do these are major things uh, uh, for me it's like I said the police the um, the taxes and and, and, and and eliminating you know um, uh, 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 fraud waste fraud and abuse right you know those are the three big things for me how to you know that's what I what I uh, uh, um, what I want to address so if I have the honor of serving on, on council. You will not see me voting for a tax increase, ever. 
um, you know, under no circumstances. Uh, I think we can we can do with what we what um, if we if we do things um, uh, uh, wisely and we seek the um, the help of our of the community. There's a lot of ideas people have. A, a lot of ideas, a lot of good working ideas. We as council don't always have to come up with the ideas and the solution. We can consult the public and ask the public what the what their uh, ideas are and implement those ideas. What would you do to attract new businesses or industries that bring high paying jobs to clean? Number one is address the, the crime in the area. That's that's number one because no business is going to want to be in an area where there's crime because they, you know, they're going to be losing money. Number two is uh, let's make it a make a make it a make it attractive through uh, uh, incentive. You know, incentivize business uh, businesses to come here through through taxes, uh, low taxes, keep our taxes low, and uh, also make sure you know that um, as far as um, the uh, uh, um, uh, 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 roads, you know, what, when when a business uh, 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 when you set up a business, make sure you know that they have access. You know, there's uh, you know the customers, the consumers uh, have as accessibility to to that business. You know, making you know uh, that that's probably you know making sure that the roads and everything is as you know is maintained and and accessible and, and and that people don't set up a business. You know, where nobody's gonna you know nobody's gonna come to. We wanna identify some good locations for businesses to to say you know if you build a business over here or Walmart or whatever the deal is. You know, people will come. So we wanna kind of do a study and see, you know, where the good locations are to set up businesses and not just put people out there and say, now you start a business, you know. We, we want to actually work with businesses, give them ideas and stuff like that based upon the population, where the, where the concentration of people are, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. So I think that's, that is uh, one of the things, you know, that I'll also be, you know, would love to look, look at and, and stuff like that. So if businesses come in here, um, we're not going to give them, you know, we're going to, Obviously, give them tax, you know, provide taxes, but we're not going to fit the entire bill for it, and that's one of the problems with uh, with the city. We always feel the need that we have to pay for everything, and we don't.